all centered on innovation as the main theme. Our collaborators from Dell Africa will be presenting the latest hyperconvergence technologies for data centers, which is the ongoing trend in the future of ICT infrastructures. This will be followed by a presentation on enterprise content management by Lizzie Fish. The two sessions will precede the launch and announcement of our new cloud offering, namely TR as a service from Attix 5. We will close off the conference with one of the latest smart tools pertaining to business analytics and which is all about the pertinence and power of social networks for the business or businesses today. We are very confident that you will enjoy this last interactive session. However, before proceeding to the different presentations, we will have the opportunity and privilege to hear the keynote address by Mr. Subhash Rambula, Project Manager from the Ministry of Technology, Communication and Innovation, and also ex-chairman of the National Computer Board, and who is today representing the Honorable Minister of Shibana, currently a regional board. Prior to the keynote address, Mr. Alain Ashuk, the Managing Director of Alana Technology Arm, will address a welcome, welcome speech, followed by a speech of Mr. Shola Hel, CEO of Alana Without any further delay, I leave the floor to Mr. Alain Ashuk for his welcome speech. Thank you. Manager, Ministry of Technology, Communication and Innovation. Mr. Shalahel, CEO of Alana Group, <coughs> members of press and media. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, welcome and good afternoon to you all. Please allow me to express my gratitude to you for your esteemed presence at our Technology Innovation Day. As you may be aware, this event is yet another happening in our journey of continuous innovation and technology awareness together with you, our valued customers. Harmonic Technologies and Mauritius Company Services both subsidiaries of the Armada Group were founded in the very early days of the ICT sector in Mauritius. As a matter of fact, MCS was created in 1971 and was among the, third, the few pioneers which contributed to the foundation of the then IT sector of our country. MCS, through its managed, IT managed services, collaborated extensively with the sugar industry which was the backbone of our economy. As for Armada Technologies, it was created in 1988 in the midst of the ICT gestation in our country. Over the years, it has contributed significantly in shaping up the ICT landscape of the island while playing a very influential role in the development of the sector locally and in the region. In our pursuit of excellence and growth, both companies have evolved into leading and key players of the industry. Through relentless innovation, investment, and strategic alliances with world leaders, leading vendors over the past decades. Our growth and expansion strategy has always been coupled with a core focus on empowering our workforce with continuous training and development programs. We are proud to mention today that our technology division, with a team of over 450 professionals and its specialized portfolio of solutions and services, is recognized to be among the largest and leading ICT companies in the region. Our different stakeholders, business partners, and customers have been and will always be at the gist of our business ecosystem. We have always enjoyed the unflinching support and trust from our different world-class vendors throughout our business roadmap and our journey of innovation. In that instance, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to express my warm welcome to our partners who have made a trip to Mauritius for our event today. Mr. Adam Alawi, Mr. Dean Durner, Mr. Christian Lavi, and Mrs. Olga Franz, all four from Dell Africa. Welcome. This is Dennis Choi, Business Development Manager, and this is Aya, International Technical Manager from Lizard Fish, USA. Mr. Han Mati, Solution Architect from Atix 5, South Africa. Mr. Kiel Nguyen Mano, Technology Lead from Internet Solutions, South Africa. And last but not least, Mr. Yang Ni, Executive Director from Intercontinental Trust Limited Mauritius, who has kindly accepted 
to share his organization's transformation program, which was made successful through the adoption of a wide technology and innovation strategy fully supported by our team of IT specialists. This achievement illustrates our mission and engagement towards our customers, which is to enrich people's lives and assist organizations in optimizing their processes by empowering them with leading edge technologies. Through our constant technology watch, our portfolio of services has evolved from conventional IT solutions to more complex total infrastructure solutions, advanced technology integration, and our unique and comprehensive set of cloud offerings, addressing both our local and regional customer needs. Our range of solutions and achievements also embrace smart technologies, supporting paperless and green offices, intelligent buildings, and infrastructures. We are confident that the best of green technologies in our area of ICT solutions and services are very much in line with the government's objective of making Mauritius a smart island. In our continuous quest for excellence, and in order to exceed our customers' expectations, we always strive to stay ahead by providing a quality handling of our customer requirements and project life cycles to improve deployment and project management methodologies. Our customer-centric approach has allowed us to acquire important market share in Mauritius and to establish our footprint in at least 23 countries in Africa, with a broad spectrum of customers coming from diverse industries, ranging from both the public and the private sectors. The sessions of today will clearly depict the maturity and sophistication of our latest offerings, be it an on-premise or hybrid model, or a fully public cloud approach. The topics covered will be ranging from high availability solutions to business process automation and the power of social networks for your business. I would also like to seize the opportunity to share with you some recent recognitions and awards that Armada Technologies and Russia's computing services have won at international level this year. In fact, we have been awarded the Microsoft Country Partner for Madagascar and the Microsoft Hosting Partner and Cloud Package Solutions for West, East and Central Africa. Coupled with these achievements, our Professional Learning Center has also been awarded the Microsoft Learning Partner of the Year. On a concluding note, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to thank you for giving us the opportunity to do, to do business with you. Please allow me again to express my thanks to our partners who present here today, and also to our highly skilled and experienced teams at Haramala Technologies and MCS, who have continuously strived to maintain our organization in the, at the forefront of new technology. I would like to thank you for your kind attention and I hope you will fully benefit from the different sessions scheduled over the next few hours. It is now my honor to invite our Chief Executive Officer, Mr. Shaw Abel, to address you. Thank you. Hello, Lucius and Mauritius, as I have said. Um, I know that the journey to come here, when you say to your friends and colleagues, I'm going to Mauritius, and they all say, well, have a nice time on the beach, but uh, often when you go back, it's not really the case. So, uh, Thank you for coming to us. It's an honor to be here today and address this exceptional gathering on the occasion of the Al-Manak Innovation Day. Over the past decades, technology has deeply and permanently altered the way we conduct business. It is lowering barriers of entry, leveling the playing field, the business landscape has changed and is changing again. The challenging world and they come to challenge us as conglomerates, which is a good news for us and maybe a bad news as well. And as the saying goes, we think that in linear terms, the technology moves on an exceptional rate. The modern economy is all about creativity and ambition. Smart use of the latest technology, leveraging the power of digital and social media, Letting innovation spark productivity. As Fadan Tam Tali, innovation is the engine for sustainable growth. 
At Al Malak, we make we made a conscious choice to embrace innovation. It is this mindset that has allowed us, for nearly two centuries now, to evolve from a family run to a diverse diversified conglomerate. To further embed innovation into our corporate DNA and EA. We recently launched the Aramark Innovation Award across the group. The aim is to offer the chance to all our employees to come out with innovating ideas and through a, through a focus ceremony, let's say, at the end of the year, to give them uh, the award. Aramark Technologies and MCS, which are conveyed today's dialogue on innovation, is well placed to introduce to you, ladies and gentlemen, tomorrow's technology today. For my part, it is an honor to stand here representing a group with, with a long-standing long passion for IT, which through the years has won numerous international technology accolades and has helped to shape the IT landscape in Mauritius. The Aramark subsidiaries have endeavored to bring to you the best of breed IT products and solutions by partnering with globally renowned vendors. I am very pleased to see many of our partners in this room today and would like to thank them for sharing their knowledge with us. I save this opportunity to thank you, our esteemed guests, clients and collaborators for the trust that you place in us as we accompany you in your exciting yet challenging IT journey. Indeed, within companies, information technology is disturbing, disrupting the way we manage processes, content, and information. In a nutshell, it is not only the engine that makes business run faster, cheaper, and better, it is key to gaining competitive edge. Then talk about getting to the best strategy to retain this edge. Defined. And, uh, it is crucial to done. anticipate and adopt uh, And then at the end, we're going to talk about it without going into details. Uh, Even if at uh, first time, uh, you can see the time change, and then talk about some of the converse and, and, converse and, and so some of these technological and innovations in have the power to truly game changing. These include, to name but a few, as I mentioned, cloud computing, data security, social networks, big data analytics and business process automation. Throughout the afternoon, you will get a glimpse of some of these innovation solutions. With digital weaving itself cheap, deeper in the fabric, fa fabric of our lives, improved broadband connectivity, and the government's firm commitment to create smart cities to spur economic growth, we are set to witness unprecedented technological advancement in our country. The ICT sector, <coughs> with a 6.4% contribution to GDP in 2014, is poised to become the third economic pillar of our economy. With the right enabling policy framework and strengthened public-private partnerships, Mauritius is truly positioned, positioning itself as a tech-savvy international business and financial hub for our economy. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, innovation distinguishes a leader from a follower. As a country rises to this challenge, it is our duty as leaders to pave the way. This requires a constant focus on innovation. <coughs> Let's innovate in everything we do. For innovation is not a coincidence or a chance happening. It's a mindset and, dare I say, a must. The power of technology and innovation is today at your fingerprint, fingertips and for you, teaching with guests, to honest. <coughs> On that note, I wish you all an inspiring, innovation, informative innovation day. Thank you. Uh, Charles Arel, the CEO of Arel Marac Group. My good friend, Ale Archou, Managing Director of Arel Marac Technologies. Representatives of the public and private sector organizations, members of the press, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. It gives me great pleasure to address you today as 
representative of the Ministry of Technology, <coughs> Communication and Innovation on the occasion of the Hazel Manak Innovation Day 2015. Allow me to first of all present the apologies of the Honourable Minister for not being able to attend today's event. He has, however, conveyed his appreciation for the invitation extended to him and he looks forward for a meaningful and fruitful event with the enriching presentations which will be made by technology experts on innovative and cutting edge solutions that will indisputably be of relevance to businesses and government. I would like Therefore, on behalf of the Ministry of Technology, Communication and Innovation, commend Hadalmar Technologies for this very laudable initiative, which is in line with the vision of government to transform our country into an innovation-led economy and society. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to seize this opportunity to briefly elaborate on the initiatives of the Ministry to realize the vision of government in transforming our country into a smart and intelligent Mauritius, which is meant on improving the quality of life of our people and raising our country to the league of high income nations within the next five years. Mindful of the fact that innovative adoption of ICTs has sweeping effects on improving the quality of life of our citizens, the Ministry, along with institutions falling under its purview, has set off to implement a number of projects and initiatives that will contribute to unlock economic growth and create an enabling environment for the innovative use of information and communication technologies. One such key initiative will be the construction soon of a second cyber city and the setting up of five technoparks around the country on sites that have already been identified by the business parks of Mauritius Limited. This landmark project will contribute to strengthen the ICT BPO sector as a strong pillar of our economy and will help to create vast job opportunities for the youth in the sector. Furthermore, in line with the recent budget measure, the Ministry of Technology, Communication and Innovation is committed to ensure that we have an ultra high speed, trusted and affordable telecommunication infrastructure. In this context, the steering committee has been set up at the level of the Ministry to spearhead the setting up of a third submarine fiber optic cable, which when implemented will contribute in short improving international internet bandwidth enable root diversity and strengthen the resiliency of our international network. The coming into operation of a new submarine faculty cable will also create boundless opportunities for innovative and high value added ICT BPO activities, as well as a view to build a strong information based society by ensuring the availability of high speed and affordable internet access to the population. In the same way, the Central Electricity Board is presently carrying out a feasibility study to become a telecommunications backhaul service provider by using fiber optics over its existing high tension electrical network. Ladies and gentlemen, in line with the above infrastructural developments to make of ICT sector a key pillar of our economy and to transform our country into an innovation-led economy, government is massively investing in capacity building and human resource development. Indeed, budget 2015-2016 makes a provision of no less than 15 million rupees for capacity building in the ICT BPO sector particularly on industry-led certifications. In this context, training programs on mobile apps development in partnership with IBM and Oracle-led certification courses have already been finalized and will be launched very shortly. Moreover, more than 3,000 graduates will soon embark 
on conversion programs that will enable them to bridge the space gaps, thus helping them becoming employable in the labor market, particularly in areas where scarcity of talents are queue, such as in the ICT MPO sector. Allow me now to say a few words on the initiative taken by the Ministry in the area of innovation. In line with the vision of government to create a second economic miracle by moving into an economy driven by innovation, the Ministry of Technology, Communication and Innovation has been, as you are aware, entrusted with the mandate of promoting innovation. As we all know, Mauritius is an upper middle income country and is poised to transition to the level of high income country where innovation becomes the key driver of socio-economic <coughs> development. On this note, you will be pleased to know that the Ministry has developed a national innovation framework which is designed to focus our strategy for innovation through an understanding of the priority areas for Mauritius where our scientific, technological and social entrepreneur can collaborate and maximize their collective impact. This framework will enable a wide range of stakeholders to engage with resources, connection and capabilities that are crucial to advancing their innovations. While fostering a culture of networking committed to continuous improvement, sharing of data and expertise, the National Innovation Framework will bring the necessary leverage for helping organizations expand their programs and capacity to deliver innovative products and services at broader national, regional, and even global levels. For the 2015-2016 budget, an amount of 125 million rupees has been earmarked for the implementation of initiatives falling under the National Innovation Framework. Ladies and gentlemen, before ending, I would like to once more, on behalf of the Ministry of Technology, Communication and Innovation, express our support and appreciation to the initiatives of our Malak Technologies for organizing the Innovation Day 2015. I wish you a fruitful event. Thank you for your attention. New, uh, new innovation that Dell is bringing to Mauritius on the occasion of the Ariel Malak Innovation Day 2015. Okay, so it's very much about cloud. So it's very much about storing your data not just in a single location where it might be damaged or it might go missing. It's storing it in a location so that people can access it from wherever they are. Um, a very important is also about data protection protecting your data so that if something happens, you've got the ability to get it back. Even if your company goes under, you can get your data back. Mm -hmm. My colleague was saying uh, earlier on that many people still don't trust cloud. Trust cloud, isn't it? Yes, that is very much so. We find that it's still, people are still thinking that if they don't, if they cannot see it, they cannot trust it. Um, and slowly but surely we started to change the way that people think about the cloud. Because at the end of the day, your data is still being stored on servers, it's still being uh, protected, and we just need to build that trust around it. And as soon as customers start to be able to access the data, um, and seeing that they can recover their data from the cloud, that trust will grow better, and at the end of the day, we'll, they'll be more productive. And that, at the end of the day, is where we are going. Are there more innovation in the security on cloud? Because some person they want to go into cloud, but they want to have security on their data, data protection, you have just said it. Correct. So very, very importantly, the big problem around data is, is your data secure? Um, and most of the technologies in the cloud nowadays are using 256-bit uh, AES encryption and some of the other encryption methodologies. And what this means is that the data at all times is secure you protect your own data. So although it's being stored in the cloud, nobody else can access it unless you give them the ability to do so. And you think cloud is going to overtake all the others, all the other technologies that we have? I think that cloud doesn't necessarily overtake it. I think that it's about uh, a synergy. 
So a lot of companies uh, still used the old methodology of doing things because they didn't have connectivity. Bandwidth is getting better uh, in, in South Africa, in the UK, in Mauritius. So uh, the more bandwidth you have, uh, the more things you want to do with that bandwidth. So I think that people will still, still store their data locally, but they will also start to store their data in the cloud and it gives more people access to data. So think about point of sales, think about big data, the ability to uh, use that data to increase business. Um, so I think that cloud will be added to the normal way of doing things and eventually people will get comfortable with using cloud.